My prayer for you this morning is that you have a wonderful day. It was two years ago the building in front of my home was repaired. I had heard sounds of the masons, hammers and chisels creating a lot of noise, seen tons of rubble falling on the ground, clouds of dust flying into the air, smelled cement and polymer and sweat of hard-working workers as they toiled in the blazing sun. Just two years ago. But as I looked this morning, I saw cracks on the exterior and a dangerous break in the column that went onto the beam. My friend who stayed on the ground floor said his bedroom leaked and his wife looked with dismay as plaster fell on stove she was cooking on. How, he asked, could this have happened? We got it repaired just two years ago. I nodded. I remembered discussions before renovation began. How far do we break, they had asked. What proportion of sand and cement should there be? How much water must we add? Should we use sea sand or sand from the river? I would asked, who's your engineer? Oh, we are going to supervise ourselves, said the pretty wife of my friend. I'll go around with a kettle of tea in one hand, a big stick in the other. I'll help you check in the morning, said another resident. I'll keep an eye when I return from work, said one more. Soon. I'd heard the sound of masons, hammers and chisels, seen tons of rubble falling on the ground, clouds of dust flying into the air, smelt cement and polymer and sweat of hard-working workers as they toiled in the blazing sun. But today, we stare at cracks on the exterior and dangers break in the column that goes on to the beam. You should have hired a good engineer, I tell them sadly. And as I see the engineer in my mind's eye with helmet on head, he climbs down the scaffolding, he's checked the cement, tested the brick and used plumb line and tape to see walls are aligned. He takes some of the sand in his hand and tastes for saline, then smiles as he walks and adds more polymer to mix. And then I see him fading away. They didn't want an expert. But it's not just building we try to repair ourselves. Sometimes when we be broken and repair job we need, we buy self-help book or follow self-proclaimed guru, then cut, paste and glue, mind, body and soul. We take kettle in hand and big stick in the other and think we are doing an expert's job. Till one day, quite soon, we cry with dismay, I just got it repaired. Ah yes, my friend, it won't work without your engineer. And I hear God's voice calling from heaven above. I am just waiting, my children, to be your engineer and do a great repair job. Before I sign off, I'd like you to go to subscribe on your YouTube and press the button so that you'll get my talk every single day. Thank you.